Live from Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 5.30 starts now. Arkansans will not get to vote on an abortion rights amendment in November. Good evening, everyone. So glad you're with us for Fox 16 News at 5.30. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Today, the state Supreme Court ruled the group Arkansans for Limited Government failed to meet the guidelines for submitting documentation that paid canvassers had been trained on state election laws. Our Caroline Derby is live in studio with us tonight with more on this. Caroline, explain what happened here. Donna and Kevin, what this really means is signatures gathered by those paid canvassers will not be considered for the total needed for the measure to be placed on the ballot. Those with the group say they're disappointed, but the attorney general says the law is clear. The state Supreme Court ruling Thursday in favor of Secretary of State John Thurston after the group Arkansans for Limited Government trying to get the abortion amendment on the November 2024 ballot sued Secretary of State John Thurston after his office rejected their petition signatures. The main reason behind the rejection has to do with the documentation about paid canvassers who were gathering petition signatures. Attorney General Tim Griffin represented Secretary John Thurston in the suit. And it basically says when you file your paperwork, your signatures as a ballot campaign, you must turn in a document that says you trained you trained your paid canvassers. According to the ruling, AFLG leaders did not submit a single full list of canvassers noting their training with the petition signatures they turned in on the deadline of July 5th. Rebecca Bobro, director of strategy for the group, says they submitted running list multiple times before the deadline. We just didn't hand that piece of paper into the Secretary of State's team with the signatures on July 5th. The majority of justices say that these earlier partial submissions did not meet state law, which the justices said required a single full list. The court was divided on this four to three. In the dissenting opinion from Justice Karen Baker, she says the Secretary of State seems to be following different protocols for the different measures across the board, which Bob Rowe agrees with. Hearing that, you know, that the court is not acting properly um, and has kind of ruled in a way that's silencing 102,000 voters is upsetting and frustrating. The AG says he believes the law is clear on this. This year, the casino folks did that properly. The marijuana folks did that properly on this particular requirement, and the abortion people didn't. That's what we've said from the beginning, and the court agrees with us. AFLG says they're looking into other avenues, if not for this November, then in the coming years. But the attorney general says that it's over for the group for this election cycle. Lots of reactions, as you can imagine today, from people weighing in on this. To see those and read the full ruling, visit our website, fox16.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Caroline Derby, Fox 16 News. Caroline.